Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungainly Titan. So after all of these um, games that I was playing to get this Fatherland tank, the I an IS-3A, uh, what's it like? Well I played a probably a dozen or so matches immediately after getting it and um, I wasn't terribly happy with the gameplay, I wasn't happy with my own gameplay, I don't think I was getting the best out of the tank. And I also thought the matches were particularly atypical because it was still in the middle of the operation for the um, Fatherland tank, the Defendable Fatherland operation. So the matchmaking tended to be very heavy on Russian heavy tanks. And since the, uh, the Fatherland tank is a, what do you call it, a tier 8 tank, it tended to be very heavy towards tier 10 tanks, which meant a lot of IS-7s. And I didn't think um, the combination of Relatively poor play on my part, uh, although I did have some moments, especially where um, the, the capabilities of the armor, which is quite good, the armor is uh, quite effective if you can keep it kind of facing to the enemy and uh, wriggle about to avoid them getting too easy a shot on the weak spots. There are a few glaring weak spots in the front of this tank. The gun is the weakest thing about it, the gun handling is rather poor, um, gun depression is minimal particularly if you're used to British or American tanks and presumably German tanks. And like all Russian tanks, the um, dispersion is quite high, so the gunners will troll you quite hard. I have the crew from the ST-1, which have about eight skills, I think. So um, they don't have all the gun handling skills. They have um, snapshot, but I don't have smooth ride. I'm about 60-70% of the way through smooth ride. I have all the maintenance skills, uh, repair, track mechanic, um, ma uh, uh, firefighting, preventative maintenance, safe stowage, that kind of stuff. I found particularly the Russian tanks needed that kind of stuff. Now this uh, KV-85 uh, drove in the middle of a fight between myself and the G-29 and didn't even notice that we were there, I don't think. Um, totally focused on what he was doing and not on what was going on around him. So, yeah, the, um, the biggest weak spots at the top of the turret. The top of the turret's quite weak. That flat bit there on top of the gun is actually extremely thin. It's about 20 millimeters, I think. Now it is a very, very acute. It's practically flat. So you'll bounce. it'll bounce an awful lot of um, incoming fire, but if somebody gets... Uh, a decent slap at it, uh, particularly from a bolt that will just go through. The other thing, and particularly big guns, if you're up against tier um, tier 9 and tier 10 guns, they'll just overmatch it and it doesn't matter about the angle, they'll, they'll just penetrate anyway. The uh, other thing about it is that um, the area, there's a driver's hatch just under the gun mantle, a flat piece on top of the point a triangle and if you bounce a shot off the gun mat it go down through that sometimes and kill the driver so that's another uh, problem with it and of course if you angle it too much you'll make the slope sides flat against the enemy's gun and they'll have no trouble then penetrating um, side of the, the slopes in front of the, in the front of the tank now he's out to penetrate now to the back of the turret or the flat slope because I was um, chasing the other IS-3 and not paying enough attention to this guy and instead of bouncing that off the gun mantle there I actually bounced it off the flat bit and up into the uh, turret. So I need to change my angle, I shouldn't be coming out really at an angle, I should be doing something more like this so that I'm facing him square. Now I probably need to pull out further because uh, his tracks are sloped pretty well and now He's moved down, so I was able to get one through the side of the turret, the, um, the sloping there at the side. However, when he's down like this, the gun depression is starting to come against me, and I'm not able to bring the gun low enough without exposing a lot of my tank. So I'm going to try for the flat surface here on top of the turret. Uh, put that one a bit too low, I think. I don't think I have any success actually against this guy, but I've had success against IS-3s and Fatherland tanks in similar circumstances uh, firing at that location. 
So the mob uh, came over the um, central hill there and um, that, that KV-85 was going for are now coming in and engaging with the Fatherland. Uh, we've done 9 damaging ribbons so we haven't done too badly so far. Even if I came off the worst against uh, another Fatherland. Now somebody's up on the ridge there, there's a T-44. And you can see there's quite a lot of aiming time even though I have um, vertical stabilizers and a gun laying drive on this tank. So I'm going to go up and um, see if I can get this um, T-44. And he's after taking another hit from somewhere. But he sees us coming and he says to go down the other side of the hill, which is quite a smart move, I suppose. Except now I think he's not watching where he's driving. He's too busy watching the other tanks around him. Crashes into the side of the shed and we finish him off. So now we have the game well in hand. Um, there's an IS out here. The remaining enemy tanks are pretty isolated. There's a um, tank destroyer up to my right. So I think I missed that one completely. Um, it goes over the back of the uh, IS. And we put that one through and finish him off. And we just wait for the tank tracks to come back. I'm going to go for the uh, tank destroyer, but I don't think I'll make it. Um, but I definitely won't make it to the heavy tank on the other side of the map. So 10 damaging ribbons, uh, 7 criticals. We spotted 2, killed 4. And got 3 um, spotted damage. Two of our guys engaged with the uh, tank destroyer up here, and they've put in fire into when that's the end of the game. So good game, um, I think it's a good tank, I think it's um, worth it, um, might not be worth the money they were charging for it, but I think there's some bundles up now that are a bit cheaper and uh, could be worth looking at. So we got over 3k damage, second class mastery, steel wall with 3,500 damage blocked, and it's a good silver earner, um, I don't think I've lost silver even though I've used fairly generous amounts of premium ammunition, came first by experience. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting and thank you for watching.